Tungiasis, often referred to as sand flea infestation, is a parasitic skin disease prevalent in tropical and subtropical regions, particularly in impoverished communities with inadequate sanitation facilities. This condition is caused by the penetration of the female sand flea, Tunga penetrans, into the skin of humans and animals. The female sand flea burrows into the epidermis, usually in areas where the skin is thin, such as the toes, heels, and soles of the feet. Once embedded, it undergoes a series of developmental stages, leading to the formation of a palpable lesion known as a jigger. Patient education is paramount in the prevention and management of tungiasis. Individuals living in endemic areas should be aware of the risk factors and transmission pathways associated with the disease. Direct contact with infested soil, particularly in areas frequented by domestic animals, increases the likelihood of infestation. Moreover, poor hygiene practices and walking barefoot exacerbate the risk of infection. Educating communities about the importance of wearing protective footwear and maintaining personal hygiene can significantly reduce the incidence of tungiasis. The female sand flea, driven by a biological imperative to reproduce, seeks suitable hosts for its development. Upon penetrating the skin, it feeds on blood and releases eggs, perpetuating the cycle of infestation. While humans serve as primary hosts, domestic animals such as dogs, cats, and pigs can also harbor the parasite, serving as reservoirs for transmission. Additionally, environmental factors such as temperature and humidity influence the prevalence of sand fleas, with optimal conditions facilitating their proliferation. Efforts to control tungiasis require a multifaceted approach encompassing public health interventions, community engagement, and improved access to healthcare services. Initiatives aimed at enhancing sanitation infrastructure, promoting footwear use, and implementing targeted vector control measures can mitigate the burden of disease in endemic regions. Furthermore, fostering partnerships between healthcare providers, governmental agencies, and non-governmental organizations is essential for sustainable progress in combating tungiasis. In conclusion, tungiasis presents significant challenges to public health, particularly in resource-limited settings. By fostering awareness, addressing underlying risk factors, and implementing comprehensive control measures, it is possible to reduce the prevalence of this neglected tropical disease and alleviate the suffering of affected communities. Through collaborative efforts and continued research, we can strive towards a future free from the burden of tungiasis. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.